everyone, and welcome back to the Sarah Scoop Facebook Live Show. Today we have Kristen Whitney. Thank you so much for joining us, Kristen. Hi. Thanks for having me. And everyone remembers you from The Bachelor and, of course, Bachelor in Paradise. So how? what have you been up to since you were on the island? Since I was on the island, I am, well, I'm still here in Nashville. I moved here about a year ago now. And I um, just got into a new apartment, so I've been in the process of getting settled there. I've been traveling a decent bit. Um, I actually start real estate school on Monday, so I'm going to be getting my real estate license here, which is good because it's a fun market. But just a lot of um, working a couple different a couple different jobs, so I've been kind of um, scattered, I guess, and hanging out, meeting a lot of new friends still here in Nashville. I'm trying to think what else. That's a good lump sum of it. No, that's great. And people will be um, asking questions as we are going. So I'll just like pop up questions that people have too as, as we're talking. So Kiana ask what kind of jobs, like what other kind of jobs you've been up to? So I um, work part-time at a school here, which I really love because I actually really enjoy kids. I'm a weirdo. And then no, um, I'm be a teacher. I get it. <laughs> yeah. And then I've been um, working with some brands, different brands, doing different brand collaborations, and also started um, distributing Rodan and Fields. I've been using the skincare forever. And my um, a friend of from back home in Indiana was like, you really need to start distributing this if you already use it and love it. So been doing that, but I'm hoping to just, I'm going to go full-time real estate here after I get my license and get all ready to go. Oh, I see the question. What made you want to get into real estate? Well, um, for about two years, I'll, I wanted I'll pick that up from Melissa. Yeah. I wanted to flip honestly for a couple of years, like just find good repos, flip them. Um, it's like real estate is like the number two way of wealth other than the stock market. And so I would wanted to do that for a while. And then I met a group of just badass babes here who were like young and hot and smashing it. Not that that has anything to do with it, but it was cool because the agency is actually like, like um, composed of five different 20, 30 something um, young girls and they're killing it. And they were like, we want you on our team. And so I'd already read a couple books on real estate and was just really interested in it. My dad was a contractor. So I grew up like loving that scene. So then I was like, heck yeah, I'm going to get my license and join. <laughs> um, do you, is that what took you to Nashville then? Because you used to do wedding photo photography, correct? Is yeah, that no, I have my own um, wedding videography company, actually. So I was a film major in school, and I still love that. But um, no, that didn't bring me to Nashville other than, like, there's a really incredible market here just for anything you want to do, honestly. Um, I've also been having fun taking some acting classes and there's a lot of opportunity here for that kind of thing as well. So, yeah, it seems like a lot of people are going to Nashville. Like it's like you know, right? a new city to be. It kind of is Nashville and Austin, Texas. Um, okay. So we have some, of course, some bachelor related questions. Maddie cool. wants to know if you are excited for bachelor Olympics. Yes. I think it looks so good. Um, you know, I talked to Luke, uh, pretty good bit about some of the inside scoops or like behind the scenes stuff that happens. So I do know some spoilers, but I'm excited to watch it nonetheless. Is that something that you would consider doing yourself? Well, it's already filmed. Or, but, else, yes. or will they have like another season though? That is something oh, that you might yeah, think. Yeah, absolutely. I would definitely consider doing it if they have another season, 100%. Um, and then if you want to talk about just like a little bit about Paradise, I know you kind of, I feel like watching the show, you were like the girl that everyone thought they could like be friends with in real life. Like you were just there having a good time, having yeah. fun. I was. Yeah, I was pretty chill. I wasn't, I didn't have very high expectations, but I don't know. Paradise was fun, but it was like a rough road for me because I got immediately just like brought into so much drama and I mean if I could go back and do it again like I wouldn't have asked Matt on that date but I was being pressured from a lot of different sources and being told like he was the only person who was interested and he was the only one who really expressed a lot of interest in going out with me so that kind of put me on a really rocky road and um that sucked but other than that I mean it's also the worst part is watching it back and seeing how people will respond and like people can be so hateful. So that was like the biggest concern being there wasn't that bad. Like it just, it was kind of like, 
well, this is awkward for a day or two, but then I'm just chilling. It's fine. Um, and so, yeah, I had fun. But that's sweet. I love when people are like, you're so relatable. I'm like, if I, if I can be anything, I want to be freaking relatable because and people will see you out and they're like, you're so normal. I'm like, oh, honey, I'm the most normal. I'm more normal than you. So then, like watching it back, like, do you feel like when you watch the show, is that the experience you felt happened, or are you uh, like, oh, I don't remember that, or that's not how that happened? Yeah, it was. It was one of those things, like with the whole scallop bit. I had no idea for the most part of Paradise. I just knew people kept bringing me plates of scallops, and I was like why is this happening? Like, I don't get it. Why am I getting served these on a date? Why am I getting, you know, like, why are people ordering these for me at the bar? What is going on? And so then when I finally got clued into it, I was like, okay, this is going to be a bit, this is going to be a big bit. So then I just kind of got on board with it. And like, at the end, I walked into the ocean. I like, had that planned with the producer i was like i'm gonna get taken out by a wave and the worst is like people were like oh my gosh ha, ha, that wave just took you out I'm like yeah dude that took like so much skill i did that on purpose <laughs> so uh, so people obviously like your nickname was it scallop fingers right yeah, yeah. So, okay so then they showed us the part where they told you that people were calling you that correct is that like when you first heard about it then yeah, that's when you when Wells told me at the bar. That's when I first heard about it. <laughs> but I think that's funny how you came off of it. Like on your Twitter, it's like, what do you say, K? I love scallops. Yeah, K. Okay, so I love scallops. I really do. They're very good. I am protein. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, okay, Abby asked, "Hi, Kristen. Who are you friends with from the show? Who are you still friends with?" Ooh, um, um, from my season, girls wise. For, like, there's a difference, I guess, in friends and who you hang out with. Um, I hang out with Danielle Maltby a lot. She lives here in Nashville. Um, I talk to Vanessa a lot. Um, I talk to Taylor a decent amount. Um, I talk to Sarah um, a decent amount. Other than that, like, those are the people I guess I talk to the most. I hang out with um, someone from another season. One, she's one of my really good friends now. It's um, Olivia Caridi, and she oh, moved. she was the first guest on the show on this show. Oh yay! Yeah. yeah, I love her so much. She's become one of my best friends, and she actually moved to Nashville right after me, not too long after me. So we have become really tight. Um, I'm close with some of the guys, like James Taylor from a few seasons ago, and Wells um, are probably like my two closest guy friends from the show. How did you um, first get involved? Did you just apply online? Like you were like, I'm ready to find someone. I'm going to give The Bachelor a chance. Or did you have a no, different kind of story? My sister nominated me. So we always would have our Bachelor watch nights. And she'd always be like, I'm going to nominate you. And they'd say, nominate, you're next, you know, like for the next. And so she'd always say that. And I was like, no, you're not. I'd never be interested in the dude. I could never do it. And then um, finally, I, I guess after Ben went on and I saw, like, I, I thought he was amazing. And so I told her, okay, I gave her the green light. And it was just like one thing led to another. No, that's great. And then so you, when you went on, did you know, like, Nick was going to be the person on your season? No. <laughs> no, not at all. It was quite a shock. We found out, like, two days before um they flew us to la oh really yeah <laughs> is it no yeah. you're just cracking me up i people need to watch it so they can see your facial expressions i like how expressive you are with your feelings <laughs> um okay so this is kind of another fun one maddie back to paradise they want to know Oh, she's got a couple questions for you, actually. She wants All to right, know if you any food Maddie, you Maddie. want in paradise because you were getting your scallops and she loves when Alexis got the pizza. Yeah, what what was the question again? If you can just order any food you want in paradise. Like, I'm assuming yes, but. Yeah, it's amazing. So it truly is paradise. Like, like whatever you want. Yeah, it really is paradise. Any food you want, they're so good. They're so sweet. They're locals. They cook all the food and they're just like. I'd always give them these really like specific orders and they're like, okay. <laughs> was there, so like, I know we see some of the funny stuff, but did you have any moments from paradise that like no one ever saw that you just 
you are very memorable for yourself. Oh my gosh, yeah, so much that you wish had gone on that doesn't go on. Um, oh, let's see, gosh, I'm, with Bachelor and Paradise, it's hard, I actually get this question a lot and I'm like, oh man, I don't know if I can call out the specific moments, I just feel like life in Paradise is generally pretty funny. You're all kind of starting to lose your minds a little bit because it's so hot and, um, yeah, I don't know if the full picture was shown. The second rose ceremony, it was very funny because all the guys were competing for my rose. So I was just like, I was just giving them such a hard time, all of them. I was just like, oh, well, is it worth it? Like, what are you going to do for the rose? You know, just like that mentality. So there were, it was just like a really funny night because everyone was kind of in on it. And they would, like the other cast mate members would give them ideas. So it, there was a point in time where I'd just be getting pulled from one and then two seconds later, I'd get pulled from another and another and another. And my reaction like got to the point where, you know, like one of them would be like, so anyway, like coming to kiss me. And I was like, uh, okay. <laughs> it's just like really tired. And it was a funny night. Um, that was the night I found out about the scallop bit too. Like, okay. <laughs> Did you know early on after The Bachelor ended that you were going to go on to Paradise? You know what? Not really. A producer brought it up to me um, about a month after and was like, hey, would you ever do Paradise? And I said, I think so. It would just kind of, I'd have to cross that bridge when we get to it, but I think so. And then you still go through, they, they kind of hit you up again in the spring and then they fly you out there for testing and interviews. And so you still don't even really know until honestly like you're on your flight out there because they could they like could pull the rug out from people like it's no big deal or they can say last minute hey can we bring you on you know they just kind of like switch it up so honestly I really didn't even know it was going to happen until I was on a plane out there um this one's kind of a funny one from Abby just because you were describing your rose ceremony there and how they were fighting over your rose there so she wants to know who was the best kisser they all kind of were blurring together, I have to be honest. <laughs> I mean, none of them were standout kisses. It was just like... None of them were the final rows. Close your eyes, and yeah, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. that's funny. Oh, but they were all very sweet, and they said, like, they had really great bits and really great lines. It was very funny. They were bringing their A game. I was like, damn, you guys are doing really well. But... um none of them was like the kind of kiss where you're like oh my gosh like i want to keep seeing you after paradise yeah and it's such it is a very short time right i know like you're filming for a long time but and then this year I, i'm not i like i obviously don't know for sure but just from what we read it was like just a few weeks that you were there yeah, yeah it was in total filming was 12 days this year and i was only there for seven days and then in on top of that, in those like six or seven days, the days of rose ceremonies, you're we separated from the guys. And then a lot of days when I wasn't at a rose ceremony, I was on a date. So with each of the individual guys, I had like 12 hours. Wow. <laughs> yeah, because like it uh, seems like you were on like a bunch of dates and all this, but it's all happening in such a short amount of time. Um, do you plan on going on any more shows or doing any you well you or doing any projects in the future? Like you mentioned that you were taking acting classes. Is that yeah. for acting or is that like you want to do yeah. another reality show or um no that's for acting. I just got asked to do the challenge, MTV's the challenge, and I don't know yet. I'm kind of like trying to decide right now because I don't know like if I were to do more reality TV, I would maybe go on Paradise again yeah. next year, just because my time on there was short. And that's that's assuming like that I would even get asked. I don't know. There's a ton of like awesome girls on this season. So I, I really don't know. Um, but then there's another part of me that doesn't want to keep like branding myself in the reality TV world because it, I don't know. I just, I wonder if it's like a hard crossover and a hard transition. For some people it works and it's just the more exposure, the better. And then for other people, it's like, it kind of like is a negative for what you want to do. <clears throat> Maybe like a million dollar listing could be your new thing. Hey. <laughs> they can have Nashville edition. Yeah. There's no drama on that, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they could throw in some for you. Um, hold on. I, I know I missed a couple of questions. So I want to pull them up. Oh, someone asked what your favorite 
um, redundant fields product was. And I was actually wondering, do you use that lash boost? Like I keep seeing ads all the time for it. Is, is it, is it legit? Look at these. They're real. It's thanks to that lash boost. I don't know if you can even see them. Yeah, no, they look like you have really long lashes. Yeah. It's lash boost. It's wonderful. It's my favorite product. It's insane. It's like putting miracle grow on your eyelashes. Like after about a month, and that's honestly why I started um, becoming a distributor because so many people were DMing me about my eyelashes. And I like the skincare too. It's wonderful, um, especially the Redefine line. But um, the lash boost is crazy. After like a month, you I never wear fake lashes. So anytime it looks like I'm wearing fake, it's Rodan and Fields. It's crazy. Wow, that's, I mean, that's good to know because a lot of people just post it like, oh, this works. But how do you really know? And that's it's amazing, yeah. yeah. How is, like, your life just, like, I'm assuming it's just, like, surreal how much it's changed since going from being, I I mean, like, I would just imagine, like, people flood your DMs and, like, crazy things like that. Like, how is that different? Like, your life, how do you handle that? Um, It's really fun. Sometimes it's lonely because you – like you can sometimes make the mistake of spending a lot of time on that stuff and it, it kind of could pull you away a little bit from those like more intimate relationships. So you just have to check yourself. You have to learn. And then the other part of it is like it's really hard to get negative comments at first. It takes a while to adjust to that because you're like, why? And I'm someone who likes to be liked by people. And for the most part, I had very positive experiences on the show and people were like extremely supportive, like defended me to no end when all the stuff on paradise happened which was amazing but those occasional comments from complete strangers who will say things like just awful things and you're like you came out of your way to come say this to me that hurts so bad and so you have to adjust and get used to that and it's not easy but i think like if i want any sort of life that involves like being an artist or being putting myself out there which i do then you're just gonna have to freaking get used to it so that's different um it's really weird when you start going out in public and people like will say they're shaking or it's the best day of their life. And I'm like, Oh my gosh, why? <laughs> it's fun. But sometimes it's also like a, pre like a press, a lot of pressure because you're, you feel like you can't just go to the grocery store and be like grunged out without mm -hmm. people like trying to Snapchat you. And you're like, Oh boy. So it's, it's fun. All in all, it's very fun, but it's just a wild thing. How like these reality TV people become like, like, many I don't know yeah and just like so well known like it's yeah. such the bachelor franchise is just so well it, known like everyone if you go on there they know who you are have you been watching the recent season with Ari uh -huh. I saw yeah. your um little picture on his story with the bowling ball <laughs> when I saw that Tuesday I was like what the f why did he just do that? And then I realized what it's like when you're there and you're sleep deprived and the producers are like, this will be funny, do this. And then you do it and you're like, did I, I did that? My friend was like, Chelsea was, Chelsea was a mom on her one-on-one -on -one date and she's like, I'm on a dream boat with a dream boat. And I was like, oh my gosh, what a producer line. And my friend was like, Chelsea blink twice if a producer made you see that. <laughs> And that's funny. Um, do you have any front runners then that you're hoping win Ari Rose this year? Or this yeah, year? I have some favorites. I already read the spoilers. Oops. I know I did too. I'm like, I won't. I mean, I'm assuming it's true. They usually are, but what a twist at the end! I won't run it for everyone listening because some people don't want to read the spoilers, but it's hard not to. I know it's so hard. Self control. I have a few favorites. Um, I really like Kendall. She's very quirky, and I love her. She's just so herself. I think that's refreshing. But a lot of the girls are so themselves. It's just like I think I I like am intrigued by her because she's so quirky and um, beautiful, so beautiful. But also, I really like Becca with the short hair. She's just sassy. Um, I don't know. There's so many great girls. I really like a lot of them. I really like CN. I really liked a girl who I thought was so pretty who went home on her one on one date. Her name was Lauren. She was so beautiful. Um, they all seem really great, honestly. I like that. I, I was talking to Olivia, actually, about this. She was kind of supporting 
um, I think Crystal, like in the comments on hers, just it's great how you guys all just kind of support each other from season to season and connect yeah. like that way. I wouldn't say everyone does that. A lot of people on the season before me, not all of them, but like a lot of people were like way too big for their britches, like stuck up. And, um, other, but, but that wasn't the majority. That was just a handful. And it's kind of like, okay, that's weird. Yeah. Um, but I, yeah, I don't feel that way. I think these girls are amazing. I hope I get to meet a lot of them. And I feel, I know what <clears throat> an edit can do to someone. And there's so many factors that people don't realize that, Sure, I'm sure Crystal is a strong and slightly self-absorbed personality. Maybe not self-absorbed, but like, but like I'm gonna get what I want kind of personality. But there are so many factors that are causing it to look the way it looks, and so many people in her ears saying, "Do this, do this, do this," and then the questions are phrased in a certain way towards the other girls to make it look like they're so butt hurt by her. And it's just, um, I, yeah, I mean, I don't doubt some of the things she says. I'm like, okay, like someone is a brat but then at the same time I'm like no I, I really truly don't think she is it's environment and everything else and I read her comments that she's getting on Instagram you guys you don't ever contribute to negative comments like that like that can cause someone to kill themselves I'm just being honest like it's bad and I just like pray for the girls who I mean like I've gone through it some Olivia went through it worse than I did it was just horrible and Crystal's going through it right now and it's just like it's like heart-wrenching like if you read some of the comments no one deserves that kind of thing well, and it's just crazy that people take their time to go do that. Like, it's so stupid. I would say it's sad, but it's honestly just stupid. It's kind yeah. of sad. I'm not going to be like, oh, it's so sad that people are like that in the world. I'm like, no, it's gross. And then you yeah. hold out. No, I agree completely. Um, well, I guess then just going off there, I know I just have a couple of more minutes with you, but you like just been so real and honest with everything and your experience, I guess, you know, people are probably looking up to you like, Hey, what if they want to give the bachelor life a shot? Like, what would you tell those girls, especially like, you know, you're talking about the pause, like being positive, the cut, the editing and all of that. Like, what would you tell? I'm sure you get this question, but. Yeah. Um, if you want to give it a shot, go for it. Be your confident self, be a personality. They don't like boring. But I also will tell you to like proceed with caution because there are only a handful of people who get like that glory time on the show. It's not all like red roses. Um, a lot of people get really negative edits and it impacts them like very negatively or they just aren't a type of personality that America like receives well. And if that's the case for you, like you're going to go through a lot of hard stuff because I've like, I, I'm a snoop. I read the comments. I see the, like, reaction and everything. And if you're not, like, the, in a lot of cases, the very, if you don't get the golden girl edit or the golden guy edit, or if you're not the a very, like, received, like, well, like, you know, like, received personality type, then it can be a really hard road. So, I don't know. Just, sure, they go have, for it. I guess you're saying, like, they have to keep the drop. They have to keep people watching. So, you could be... Uh -huh. Yeah, you never know what's going to happen. It's a lot of out of your control. A lot of it is out of your control. But if you're brave and you're tough and you're resilient, go for it because it's a freaking blast and I wouldn't change it for anything. Um, it's been really fun and it's been, you get, honestly, for the next couple years, you get treated like royals. Like, you just get, you just get so many opportunities that are like, people look at you differently and think of you differently and that's wild to me because all you did was, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. get chosen for the show, but it's also a big deal because there's like million, there's like, they had like almost a million applications for this last season. And I know wow. the next season as well, um, or submissions. So it's, it's like an honor in that sense because they do look at people who are like well qualified, well spoken individuals, but it's also a gamble. So that's what I would say. Yeah. No, I think that's great. Well, thank you so much, Kristen. This has been great. I told you, I like knew, I was like, telling people in my office, she's going to be so easy and real to talk to you. Just, Aww. I think that even with people being perceived, you're still perceived as like just a regular, normal person that, and I think that's great. Thanks girl. Um, so we're going to be watching for you on bachelor in paradise again. That's going to be all right. We'll see what happens. <laughs> well, thank you so much. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.